All right, we're nearing the completion point of this tax return, and we need to mark the return for e-file. So in that process, what we're going to do is we're going to mark the return for e-file, which adds the 8879. We're going to add or select our disbursement method. In this case, whether or not you're going to do a bank product or a IRS direct deposit or check. And then you're going to actually add in the ID type as well as capture the signatures. I am using the signature pad for this demonstration. So you'll see how the, uh, the paperless functionality works for us. So if you're following the menu over here on the left hand side, right, the, the kind of order of operations, if you will, we start from the top, we work our way down and we get to number 12, mark return electronic. Click on that guy. And this is how we're going to queue it, uh, set up the return for e-file, add in the 8879. And the first thing it asks us is, does the taxpayer want tax preparation fees taken out of their refund? In a lot of offices, you've had occurrences where you have added uh, or sent the tax return without adding the bank application, and a customer never calls back for whatever reason, and you, you lose out on some income. So we want to avoid that. So we're very, very clearly asking you, hey, are you collecting check, cash, check, or credit card? If you're not, then we need to take that money out of their refund. When you click yes, it's going to give you your three bank product options. A check that the customer is going to come back and pick up, a direct deposit straight into their bank account, or a debit card that you're going to give to the customer at the time that you file their tax return. So we're going to click a check because it's the least amount of work for me. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to have the customer sign their declaration for e-file. Click on taxpayer signature. Click save. And it adds it on file. You can print this right here and give the customer a copy of it if you kind of want to print it as you go instead of waiting till the end. We're going to click exit. I have the customer's phone number, cell phone number in here. This is for notification that their check has been printed in your office or that their funds are loaded onto their card or that their funds have been deposited into their bank account. If you are printing the check in the office, you can customize a text message delay, meaning when you print the check, you can set yourself a 30 minute window for you to process it, make copies of it for your files. Um, you can set a 30 minute window, 45 hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, however long you need to, uh, to complete your in-office processes. I'm going to hit enter or use that same number. Next thing it's asking me is to sign the disclosure. This is not the bank application. This is the 7216. A lot of people get confused why you need two 7216s, but this is for the release of information to a third party which is the bank in this case the bank is a third party right first party is you and then the IRS and then you got the bank so anytime we're releasing information for the purposes of processing taxpayer information TPI you need to get a 7216 in order to be in compliance so we get them to sign that which says we can give their information to the bank we click exit you want to print that? Normally, of course, you would. I'm going to say no. Last thing we need to do is get the bank application information. So um, we're going to put in the driver's license. I already pre-filled that for time-saving purposes. Driver's license, driver's license number, all that good stuff. And then whether or not you want to print it. You can go ahead and print it, or you can just mark it printed. We're going to click exit and exit. And we're done. So that is how in the Rightway program you're going to mark the return for e-file. So we've added the 8879. We automatically add the bank application if you're choosing that. You put in the or you capture all the signatures right there. It keeps them on file in the tax return and in paper cut for us. And you can um, then just put in the, the taxpayer identification type and you're done. So very, very simple, um, a very, very straightforward process. And thank you very much. Hopefully that made sense. 
and uh, keep watching the videos and talk to you soon. Thanks.